Spokane County voters may be asked next spring to approve a $45 million park levy. It would pay for a new sports complex in downtown along with improvements at county parks. KXY Force Kylie Cruz live downtown tonight with a look at some more of those improvements. Kylie? And Nadine, it is a dirt lot now, but in the coming years, we could potentially see a field house on this lot right here, just north of the Spokane River. Now, this is just one potential project the Spokane County is looking at considering for $45 million levy. Today's clouds and rain didn't keep Bob Andres and his dog indoors. They spent the afternoon at Plants Ferry Park. Beautiful grass, beautiful scenery. And it could get a big makeover with additional soccer fields and parking. That's because of a potential park levy on the April 2015 ballot. And we're greatly in need. Spokane County Parks Director Doug Chase says it's a long time coming. They're heavily used and enjoyed by the community and, and this is one of those opportunities where the community would see that direct return in investment. The Southside Aquatic Center would add two large slides and develop 10 acres of parkland around it, complete with baseball fields. Improvements to Fish Lake Trail would also be made, and several county parks would be modernized and get new playground equipment. But that's not all. We're looking at everything from enhancing uh, our existing campground and park out in Liberty Lake to redeveloping our existing Bear Lake Park. But the biggest project, an indoor field house in downtown Spokane that would house track meets and volleyball tournaments. I think it's a chance for us to say this is who we are. This is a place that we want our kids to grow up in. They want to have safe alternatives. The possible levy was just announced, but Andres isn't quite sure how he feels about forking over a little cash to pay for it all. I'm kind of old-fashioned. I like things the way they are, kind of, and I've noticed that anytime things start getting better and better that more traffic comes through. And the levy would cost the homeowner of a $200,000 home about $28 extra a year in property taxes. It would run for about nine years, and ultimately it is up to the Spokane County Commissioners to decide if they want to put this on the April 2015 ballot. Reporting live in downtown Spokane tonight, I'm Kylie Cruz, KXLY4 News.